Well, you you too. Uh, you and Pop Wagner are both on that Prairie Home Companion cruise. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure, it, uh, like Pop, it's good getting out of Minnesota. Yeah. Well, I come down here for a month of March every year. Thank goodness. Do you do that anywhere else? Do what? I have like a regular Miami trip. I mean, it's, or South Florida trip. You go to you, you live in Minnesota. Yeah. Do you have regular tours that you go on every year? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, I did have one question for you. And I had a, a CD here of Colonel Ray and Glover with Rags and Hollers. Blues, blues and, Rags and Hollers. Well, that was your first CD. That's correct. From 63, is that right? About right, yeah. So I was going to hold it up for you if I could find it and, and just ask you what comes to your mind. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, Blues, Rags and Hollers, Spider John Kerner, Dave Snaker Ray, and Tony Little Son Glover. What What comes to your mind when I hold... When you see that CD, when you see the album, well, I've got hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you lost the hair on top of your head. Okay, so you were a young kid. You were what? 20? Twenty-five, something like that. Twenty-five. Yeah. So in 1963, and that uh, obviously changed your life when when that album came out. Right. Uh, yeah. We, uh, Dave and Tony and I had been uh, interested in uh, the old country blues kind of stuff. This is old black blues guys recording in the 20s, 30s, and 40s kind of stuff. And uh, and you picked up old albums? Wait, old sure. 78s? You found yeah. 78s? And yeah, we'd find things and try and figure out what they were doing and like that. And in a sense, we were kind of the, uh, at least among the first young white guys that tried to do that kind of thing. Well, that's what Colonel Ray and Glover is known for, is being the first white guys playing black music. Right. Is that accurate? Uh, well, it's 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 in the ballpark somewhere, yeah. uh, it, it, with one exception. Uh, we were the country blues guys, and for the electric was uh, uh, Butterfield. Oh, Paul, Paul Butterfield? Paul Butterfield. Now, there is a distinction because, of course, Elvis and all the pop music, they did the same thing, but they didn't replicate the music. They added rock and roll to right, it. Yeah. But you did it authentically. Well, sort of. You know, <laughs> I, I have to admit that I look at it different now than I did then. Really? Like how? Well, then we thought it was okay, and now I think it was weird. Oh, copying, copying them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why you don't do it anymore. Right. Okay. Part of the, yeah, that's part of the reason. You you do do some of those songs, but now it's with your own uh, interpretation. Yeah. I uh, I quit song. I quit playing forever. Uh, which lasted about a year, <laughs> and I was living in Denmark at the time, and we happened to have a, uh, a Lomax folk collection, and I started looking through some of that and uh, realized that there was some really good material in there, mm -hmm. of, of course. Material that nobody else thought was good? Well, no, I wouldn't say that, except that, uh, I mean, these days, I'm one of the very few that plays, just goes out and plays bar-style folk music, you know, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm glad to serve that purpose. Spider John Kerner is here in the studio. So you, I mean, you understand when people call you a legend, I suppose. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it, but I don't, I don't know what that means. Well, you know? there's even an album that came out with Legends of Folk Music. Yeah, and, I know. And, and I you're know. one of them. Yeah. It, I mean, all that seems a little weird to me. I'm just another... I was going to say a word he's supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> Spider John Kerner is here in the studio. And uh, you just got off the Prairie Home Companion cruise. Right. And you're doing actually a concert uh, next Saturday night at 7 p.m., a free outdoor show. Well, that's yours, isn't it? That's my show. I'm, yeah. I'm MC at that show. And at 6 o'clock is going to be Box of Light. And then uh, Nick Annis and Spider John Kerner gets uh, on stage at 7. Ellen Buxtell and Rod McDonald at 9. And this will be next Saturday evening, March 28th, at the... Uh, the at the Museum of Contemporary Art in North Miami. That's right across the street from Luna Star Cafe. Spider John Kerner is going to be there, and you're here right now. And what song you want to play? Well, I'm going to try and play. My, I don't play so good as I used to, but I'm going to try and play uh, uh, a song called "The Leatherwing Bat." Okay. It's an old folk song. Was this one of the ones in the Alan Lomax songbook? Could have been. I I don't remember for sure which where what place I picked it up. But it's an interesting song, actually. I think it's got some kind of ancient roots somehow. Who would write a song about a bat? Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, 
They're all leather winged too, aren't they? I mean, they all. Yeah, yeah. I no, I have no idea how that <laughs> happened. But it's more. What interests me more in the in the thing is that the, the each each one of these most of it are is birds. It starts out with a bat, and the rest of it's birds. Okay. But each each bird has a quality to it, uh, to what they're saying. And uh, it's, it's kind of interesting that way. I, I have a suspicion that re it might relate to an, uh, an ancient uh, Persian thing uh, way back when. Okay. Somehow, because it reminds me of a thing that was called the Parliament of the Birds from back then. I'm not quite sure if they relate, but it sounds possible. You know. Your spider, John? <laughs> I said the little leather wing bat. I'll tell you the reason that the reason that I fly by night is because I lost my heart so late. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. And hey, hey, diddle o. I said the red bird is sitting on a fence. I once loved a handsome wench. She got saucy and her from me fled. And ever since my head been red. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. And hey, hey, diddle o. I said the bluebird as he blew. I once loved a young gal too. She got saucy and wanted to go. I got me a new string for my bow. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. And hey, hey, diddle o. I said to Robin as he flew, when I was a young man I chose two. One didn't love me, the other one would, and don't you think my notion's good? Had it died in a diddle o day, had it died in a diddle o day, had it died in a diddle o day, and hey, hey, diddle o. I said to uh, who said the owl with their head so white, a lonesome day and a lonesome night. Did I hear some pretty gal say she'd court all night and sleep all day? Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day. And hey, hey, diddle o. Oh no, said the turtle dog. Now that's no way to gain his love. If you want to gain your heart's delight, keep him awake both day and night. I had it dying in a diddle o day. Had it dying in a diddle o day, had it dying in a diddle o day, and hey, hey, diddle o. Spider John Kerner, live in the WLRN studio. I see, that's, it could also be a love song, that, that thing. I think it's supposed to be mystical. It's mystical, okay. Yeah. Just a guess. Okay. Um, so you were on the Prairie Home Cruise. How far back do you and uh, Garrison Keeler go? Uh, I talked to Pop earlier, and Pop, yeah, Pop used I, to be on the show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay.